Greetings, viewers at home, and welcome on another exciting show of the Petros Koza Show. Ika malami na mi kanti ngu Petros Koza kanti wena gyaaz uta delega te tingo balo ni sound akanti ngono fowe na buga namtangi ngi le telebani. One of the veterans, a David Ton, one of the living legends, Ubab Makubo, Ubaba Wetu, Sonke a David Ton, the man who has brought change in David Ton, the man who assembled a school from nowhere to one of the best schools in South Africa, in Africa, and globally. Bab Makubo, Bujan Bab. I want to greet all the people of David Ton. I'm excited to be here. Oh, yes. I've been wanting to talk to people about David Ton. I have so much love for them. Siabo. Yes. Uh, you know, and because of you are global, so in America they are watching right now. Can you please tell them who you are? Okay. Yeah. Yeah, my name is James Wandle Makubu. Um, I was born and raised around uh, Watville, but uh, I grew up in Davidton because my grandmother was here. I schooled around here. I even went to Mabuya High School wow. uh, as a student. But uh, I, I, because of the riots in 1976, 1977, we mm. had to be shipped out of the township to Kwasul Natal mm. uh, because our parents were afraid that we were going to join mm. the controversies. Mm. <laughs> so they were trying to protect <laughs> us. Yeah. They, they shipped us, a lot of us. To yeah. To, and tell me, how did you survive that? Because I can tell you, you are one person who cares about the community. Age, it was tough, man. Mm. We, we, we survived from I Amen. Yeah, uh, but we, we, more than anything, our parents were there to protect us. Mm. Mm. And uh, we had leaders, great leaders who saw a future in us. Mm. Uh, those mm. are the people who made me to what I am, mm. to also think differently, oh, yes. to think about others before I think about myself. Mm. Oh, today, uh, one of the things when I started David on TV, this is the man whom I went to, I spoke to, and he said to me, if you see it in your mind, go for it. And look, today you are watching David on TV. He's one of the people who inspired me. And Ngatimangi, Cheka Cheka Ngai, Ngatolokuti is also one of the people who started a union for teachers. He has done a lot for South Africa, for the world, and he has contributed in terms of a uh, department of education. But Makubo, you know, the reason why you're here is because of the book. Yes. The Vagabond Principal. Yeah, I'm hoping to bring the book uh, later when it is back from the Yes, from yes, the yes, yes. Yeah, the name of the book is Vagabond Principal. Yes. Dodging bullets. Mm. Yeah, what a beautiful that's, title. That's the title of the book. Uh, vagabond is a big word in English, but it means that a person who does not have a place. Mm. Uh, as a school, we learned from under three, from under two, we went to the hall, Victor Tlaslone Hall. That time, it was still called Lionel Kent Center. Yes. And then it was not good enough. With 840 learners, we were lucky to be accommodated at Mahalima mm. and uh, Madiwana Primary School, but it was primary school children and uh, very, very a big and unruly children of mm. high school. Mm. We had to move to get a place at the back of Davis Secondary School mm. where there was mm. an action of Yuzo Yuzo after we left. Mm. Yeah, and then before Yuzo Yuzo was started, they came to interview us mm. uh, about it. And then that's where Yuzo Yuzo was, was accepted there. Mm. And from there, then we moved to our own school in 1997. But Makovo, now, you know, uh, as a teacher, uh, you were young then. Yes. Yeah, you were fresh from school. Very young. You had everything that, you know, the world, uh, there was everything in the world, and you had an opportunity or you had a choice to say, but I can go work for another school. I can go do something else. I can go better my life. Why would you, why you went to dodge bullets and assemble a school? Why that? It was the passion that I have. I, I like working with young people. That's why I'm impressed with what you are doing, guys, mm. because. I love to see a person growing from being a child to being an, an adult that is gainfully employed or mm. an entrepreneur or a person who will be contributing positively to the society. Mm. That was my passion. Mm. Now, when, when he started this thing, the, 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 I saw the children. I, I, ta I taught mathematics. Okay. I was passionate about my mathematics. I still love my mathematics. Mm. I was teaching every day from Monday to Sunday. Mm. Every day. That is why maybe uh, the community of David trusted me mm. to say, no, there's no school. Uh, children were driven away from schools because schools were full. Mm. But besides that, there were a lot of boys 
who left school because of uh, my comrade. Mm. They left school and then they, 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 they went to, to the struggle. And when Mandela came back to say, hey, you must go back to school, they wanted a school, but they were not accommodated in those yes. schools. They were afraid of them. Others were uh, teenage mothers who were pregnant. Mm. Mm. Uh, others were mm. those who, were le who left school because of age restriction. There was this thing police called age, age limit. So the government of the past, mm. when you were above 19, they mm. kicked you out of school. Now, once you fail and fail and fail, they kicked mm. out of school. So all those people, they, they were assembling to say they want to go back to school. Mm. So unfortunately, they were standing next to the hostel here. Yeah. So I was at the, at the, at the window at Mabuya watching mm. because mm. I was mm. teaching at Mabuya. Okay. Uh, I, was, I saw a group of kids standing there and oh, I said, this is dangerous. Because that time there was war between the township mm. and the hostel dwellers. Mm. So I said, principal, allow me to go and collect these kids. Mm. I went out because they were wearing different school uniforms. Mm. Uh, others were not in uniform, obviously. I rushed them to say, please come, 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 come. They said, no, I was scared. I said, no, please come. They said, no, what, what are you looking for? What, are, what do you want? Because they were doing it. Mm. Uh, they said, we want to go back to school. And I don't know what happened to my mind. I just said, I will start this school. And I Man. did not understand. I had that faith, but I did not understand what I was saying. And uh, in amongst them, there were other young people, but who were neatly dressed. And I was asking them, what is happening? They say, we're teachers. I said, how about eight of them? I said, they said, no, we don't have a job. I said, no, mm. oh, I'm going to start a school with you. That time I was an activist, obviously. Uh, I knew I, I could, I could uh, negotiate. I knew that... Uh, we were fighting to get things to happen. Mm. So I think I saw one of the few schools that were started in Davidton uh, uh, by the community, besides others that we started at mm. uh, as we speak. Mm. So, Bob Makobo, like you said, Uguti, I was wrong, you didn't hear yourself. I didn't hear myself. But we just ushered this way that says, come, I'll start a school yes. with you. And after that, decision that you took there what happened after because a lot of us today were taking decisions to say i want to start this i want to do that but the minute we face an iceberg you know then it, 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 it's something else it's a demonstration to all the young people yes that if you are determined to do something mm. go for it mm. you should not be mm. discouraged by mm. anything mm. You must mm. not be discouraged mm. by weather you must not be discouraged by words Powerful. people are going to say to you. Powerful. You must not be discouraged by the situation you are in. Mm. Because when we started the school, I, I was just a teacher. I didn't have money to start a school, so it was not a private school. I did not have chalk to write with. Mm. So we just said, we're going to start. And I said, let us start. It was under a tree. And then other people were laughing. And the other people were saying, ah, this is going to fail. And then we moved to Lionel Kent Center. But that time, it was difficult yeah. because the mayor uh, was uh, in, in, in clash, was clashing with the community. So, oh. but I went to the mayor to say, please allow me to just tell them that because I want them to be safe. Because if they are going to do it next to the hostel, yes. the, the hostel people would think that they are being attacked, exactly. and there's going to be another war mm. where the are going to be killed. So, I was trying to save them, to say to them, I'm going to start a school. I was just trying to say, you are safe with me. Mm. Don't go there. Mm. Because they were just at random, there was no leader. And, and after you started this journey, what is this one incident that hit you so hard that you started regretting the choice or the decision you took? I regretted uh, when um, I realized that uh, some of my children were very, very violent. Okay. To an extent that I was also threatened. My life was threatened by the very children I was trying to see. Uh, others did not come to the school because they wanted to learn. They just wanted to be in a group and uh, to be seen to be learning. Uh, but I understood a bigger picture. I felt I know I cannot let go of this. Mm. I cannot, I will try my mm. best to change their mindsets. Yeah. And I'm happy today to say many of them I, I managed to change their mindsets. A lot of those who were so-called comptoses, mm. I took them, I broke the law. I even made them school reports they didn't deserve to go and uh, join the army. Man. They went to join the army. A lot of them now mm. are in the SANTF. Mm. They, mm. they, 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 are, they are 
the, the, the right millimeters to say see a boy mababa because our lives wow. were going this wow. way wow. and you threatened us. Wow, you know what? I'm speechless. Actually, Segi is Bambenji and Mubangi in Dota. Having a color in your bed, Zendogos. Today, I'm sitting with the David of our times. The Bible says, Oh, David, what had a won't come at Dota? You know, in the community that were rejected and he made them an army. Imagine Namsanje, ESANTF, Sikadwe Abantu. Abashulega, Pachunkunukuru, Waresu Mo, Saint Helene, Waresu Joshua, and Helene, who was a Fiji Sekanana. Thank you so much, eh, Bab Maku. You know, yo, I'm, I'm so humbled, and I'm telling you, ne, I want to grow old and be you. <laughs> <laughs> when I'm young, I also want to be like you. <laughs> you know, so, I, yeah. I, I'm so proud of the, what has happened because uh, many of my children, they don't forget uh, yeah. what we've done together. Uh, and uh, to crown it all, I met one lady uh, in one hospital. She came to me, she's quite older than me. She said, Who, do you know me? I said, no, I can't remember. She said, Mr. Makubu, you should know your students. She said, you can't be my student. I was your student. <laughs> because when the school started, we also roped in adult learners. Those who did not want to go to adult center because it was dangerous at night and those who wanted to come back after having left school. Mm. Some of them, she said, she said she was, she's a chief matron where she wow. is. She wow. said, Mr. Makubu, he tried to give me some money. Oh. She said, Mr. Makubu, I'm like this because you gave me a mm. and, and how did you feel? I felt so good inside. Amen. I, I know that I'm not doing these things Amen. because it's me. Amen. I'm doing these things because I believe that uh, that is my ministry. Mm. Because mm, when mm, this is mm. happening, I was already a Christian. Mm, I was already with another mm, mm, So I was not powerful. I was not driving myself, mm. I was driven from behind. Yeah. So that is why I, I, I could uh, despite the the up the, the up, uphill up, upheavals that were happening in the in the in the school. I mean mm. one of my students uh, was killed uh, wow. by police because also he was accused of being kill, of killing police. Mm. Uh, the, the school was it, so unpopular in the township. People did not want to do anything with the school. Mm. But we hung on there Amen. and we worked. And I was the only man with the eight ladies when the school started. Uh, I don't know what to call you now. <laughs> Or we it Baba because we are Fundisa. At the same time, you are fathering me here because I feel there's anointing transferred to me from you now. <laughs> I think I'm the next Makubo. <laughs> I'm going to change my yeah. name. Uh, in the next episode, I'm Petros Koza Makubo. <laughs> uh, Makubo, what is your favorite scripture in the Bible, number one, and why? And while you faced all these bullets, what came into your mind? Which scripture comforted you without anyone having to translate it? Jeremiah 29. Amen. Says, for I know. Hallelujah. Amen. The plans I, I have for you, you to prosper. Not to, not to harm you, but to prosper you. Powerful. Receive this grace right now. Take it, run with it. You know, once you receive this, take it, run with it. Obab Makubo is a man. The word of God say Elijah, he's a man like us. And he prayed for three and a half years that and it happened. Makubo, one thing I love. Oguti ukulele lokshini, omdana wase lokshini, oyazga ngoni bilo yase lokshini. If he did it, mina na we in this era of smartphones, in this era of my laptops, in this era of information galore and everywhere. Angaza oguti mda sekai. What is it that you're going through? What is it that you are facing? And what is it that is hindering you? But if Bab Makubo did it, I can do it. And you too can do it. So let's fast forward uh, the book. Um, you know, Ustali uh, Liskolo was Habazon Gele in Dawa. Yes. And how did you need Lasei Corner? How did it come about? The first thing that surprised me was uh, when, 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 when a lady teacher came to me to say, We need a prayer here. I said, That's a, that's a good idea. Because the school was in turmoil. The school was in, was going to collapse because the Department of Education did not want the school to be registered. So it was registered because of the community that went to to negotiate and force the department to recognize the school. Mm. So they were waiting for a mistake to happen so that they can deregister the school. But uh, because I had these women who 
were with me mm. believed in the vision mm. that we had together mm. and we said we are going to do this together mm. everything from the emblem that you see here mm. we did it on our own we did not yeah. use any private people to do it for us the motto says persevere succeed it Amen. means a lot to us persevere, we, we persevered we, we took first what we did we, we invited churches we invited schools mm. for a prayer day mm. from coming from our school we told the kids kids we are going to pray now we organized about 10 buses went to uh, uh, to to the railway uh, station uh, was it the central central mm. rent yeah okay. we went there and we used the hall there it was so powerful Mm. I think we are the only school that could call more than 20 churches to be in one place. Amen. And the, the pastors, they came, remember, there was tension in the township. The pastors came in large numbers. Mm. They came, we prayed with the kids. When we came back, the following week, it was different school. Amen. The power of God. Learners were now behaving. I thought, but this was a powerful thing to happen. Amen. The Holy Spirit took over. Siabo. So from there on until 1996, uh, I left the school. I left the school in, in 1996 because uh, Bishop Tutu, uh, saw it fit because they saw in the media that I had stopped the violence uh, between Kosas, Paso, and the other group. Mm. Uh, they said I must go to, to study overseas. Now they took me to the USA, to when I went there, I left the school for 1995, 96. Mm. I came back when we went to a new building uh, where it is now, it's exception to. Mm. Mm. So <clears throat> when you see a young man, a young girl out there, uh, what comes to mind? It frustrates me, Baba. Um, I, I spoke to you now um, about the, uh, the, the place that I want to mention by name now, uh, because it worries me, uh, especially if it's young people, Mm. People who are of uh, with potential mm. who waste their lives mm. uh, through substance abuse, mm. uh, uh, people who don't think beyond today, mm. they think for today and then tomorrow is another day. They don't think in ten years, twenty years time what they would love to be. Uh, it, it pains me when we try our best yes. to create breadwinners because. We don't love a situation where kids are born in a shack and they will die in a shack and they'll go and recycle again, go to the shack, instead of moving them out to, uh, to, uh, to uh, for a better life. Uh, there's no one who said our children cannot move from here to go and stay in Santi. Very true. They, that's, 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 that's just the ambition and the, the, the dedication mm. and the mm. discipline that children uh, should have. Yeah, the entertainment is very necessary. People are getting entertained because kids, the Bible says so, uh, uh, 1 Corinthians uh, 11, I think 6, uh, that a youth must enjoy their, their, their kids must enjoy their youth. Mm. We, we understand that. Mm. But at the same time, they must also think beyond mm. what they see be before them. Mm. They must not see mediocrity and stay with mediocrity. Mm. They must move forward and try to extricate themselves Bapu, man, they must go out mm, and mm, be something. Mm, mm. And uh, that's what we are trying to do. I'm sure with other school principals whom I respect, mm. this is our job. Mm. We are trying to, to change our, our, our little world around us so that black people can strive mm. and be better. We should not be servants for the rest of our lives. Amen. Amen. You should not be a servant for the rest of your life. Uh, you are the head, not the tail, because you are blessed going in and blessed going out. But Makubo, uh, because of his cut, you know, uh, I would love to have you for an hour. I think we'll organize a Denilang When is the book coming out? It depends with these people, but I, uh, the, 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 the publishers, but I, I'm hoping by end of June mm. the book will be out. Mm. I'll be launching it. I wish to launch it. Uh, in October during my, 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 my birthday. Oh, yes. Uh, because uh, maybe we want to celebrate my retirement as well. Okay. Just make a combination of the two. Mm. And, uh, I, I, so that we can be able to, to, to show people mm. uh, the history and maybe to motivate other people to do things uh, with passion. Mm. Mm. 
Um, thank you so much, and we wish you good luck from David on TV as a whole. And I'm inviting myself to the launch, the party, and the retirement. <laughs> I'll be there. Yes. And estimation, how much will be the copy of a book so that I want to tell about it from now? Yeah, no, usually books of this nature, which is quite a big book, yes, more than 73,000 words. Oh, this is quite a big book. So, usually they are they, they are between 250 and 270. Mm. 250 and 270. Mm. Yeah. No, I'm going to say, 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 i doctors, lawyers, 70% of artists in David are from a unity and I know that you played a huge role in terms of that. I used to come I think around 2010 to workshop on my students, the yes. drama, you allowed us and yes. we worked there and yes. I know you have hosted big names in that school. Yes. Uh, one time I interviewed you, Lira. Yes, unity. Yes. yes, and uh, we were there. yes, Mam Winnie Mandela was there. Yes, Mam uh, Tambo, they were there. Uh, when the school came up mm, and people mm, learned about the history, they had an interest in coming mm, to see mm, what mm, makes this school tick. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mr. Bege, I'm a Mama Manjikai, or Fumes of Duan, you know, and Umdana Gezwa. Mama has tried everything. Agasaza Tinai. What can you say to that woman? It's difficult to be a parent. Mm. Uh, sometimes children get influence from outside. Mm. Because if, as a parent, you are not close to your child, they will find other parents who influence them adversely. Mm. Uh, what I did at school, we, we, we trained parents on, uh, on parenting. Mm. Uh, every year we used to have a workshop with the parents to say how to raise the children. What I normally did with the parents, I, I categorize the children. Uh, uh, the little ones, those the 12, 13 year olds, I call them Mama Zambane. Okay. So now, if a child is Zambane, mm. you can peel it, you can make it simple chips, because the child is easy to manipulate. Mm. Oh, mm. my men's are not chips, so my are Alala. But once my leg is Zambane, they are born. Yeah. A muscle bullet is difficult to re. It, 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 you, need, you need to replant it uh, by other ways, maybe mm. getting help from outside to, 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 so that it can germinate again. Mm, and then mm, I'm, mm. I'm at grade nine, the, 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 those who are 15, 16, mm. I call them popcorns. Okay. I expect them to jump around. So as a parent, you must understand that the child now, there is something that is happening physiologically to the child. That's yes. why it's jumping around. That's why I call them more popcorns. Mm. And then I'm at grade 17, 18, 17, 16, 17 year old, I call them I'm adolescents. Mm. Because they are, they, are, they, are, they, are, they are now starting to see changes in their body. That's where now you need to categorize them and know how to treat the child mm. uh, uh, in different categories. Mm. And then the rest of them, they are about 19 year, 20 year olds. Those are old enough to have their own homes. But now, if, if, if we have started with the child uh, 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 down there, it's sometimes easy for you to communicate with the child to say, now you are getting lost, come here. But it may happen that maybe you have missed an opportunity with the child. Mm. Do not be discouraged. Mm. Sit down with the child. These people, I love them because I know that when you sit down and reason with them, mm. they listen. Very true. They listen and you just say, tell them and speak to them in terms of choosing the right friends, choosing the right uh, people to, to be with, the role models, the pos positive role models. Mm. Uh, we have a situation where all the time when, especially the boy, boy children, when, when, when you speak to them, they say peer pressure. Mm. You don't know who is the peer, who is the pressure. Maybe he is the <laughs> pressure. So we need to deal with that as well. Yeah. You cannot blame yeah. other people yeah. for your own yeah. Yeah. Uh, behavior. The behavioral change uh, is easier when uh, the parents together I'm happy you're saying Umam because most of the situation in our township, unfortunately, mm. uh, kids are raised by Abomama. the mothers. Mm. The fathers are absent 
or they ran away. Mm -hmm. So I may want to say to parents, Bubaba, uh, assist. Thank because you. if there's a father figure in the house, children normally respect, especially a father who's disciplined, a father mm -hmm. who wants to raise children to be responsible mm -hmm. uh, adults. Mm -hmm. Abo Mama, I, I really, really admire them because some of them, their mothers at the same time, their fathers and their families. Mm. They must not throw in the towel. Mm. They must still do what they've been doing, sit down with the child, maybe introduce the child to the church. Mm. I know it's difficult sometimes mm. because these kids, they can't even go to church just to please you, but exactly. they do the wrong. Exactly. But in Beu, my child, where he stays it germinates. So we don't it. say I won't take the child to church because uh, it is the same. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. No, they just when I plant it, even when you speak with your child, speak positively. Plant the, 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 the seed of positiveness. Mm -hmm. The child will grow to understand that when you are trying to, to chastise the child, she must or he must understand that you love them. Mm -hmm. You do it with love. You tell them how much you love them every day. You look after them in terms of the, their welfare. In the morning, when they come to, from school, how was school? Are you okay? Let no child not come to ask. Mm, mm, mm. Deal with the situation before they come to ask. Thank you so much. Siabong, and Yatembo Nam Sanje, Ukuzelega, Kulu, Gishesi, Novak Makubo, one of the founders of a local school in Davidson, Esbizonga Unity Secondary School, one of the schools that has been topping every year. Sakati was in Tinabani, but Unity, Yaisha Gunjado, Uniform Yavo Hitler, Bani Stayela, Banu Principal of Tandayo. I've met you in many funerals, yes, as a Banduana. I've seen you in a queue, queuing for food while others were ushered to better places. I've seen you sitting down. I've seen you in tears. I've seen you, I've seen you in many seasons. Yes. And I must say this, uh, we have learned so much. The reason we are better people today is because of looking up to people like you. Uh, Sis Vala, can you please close with a prayer and pray for Abanda Basha, a Daviton, a Mzanti, a Africa, and the world. Okay. Amen. Can you close our eyes? We thank you, Almighty Father, for the gift of life. We thank you, Almighty Father, for protecting us all our ways. That you always keep your promises. I come before you, Almighty Father, praying for those today who are languishing in prison. I pray, Almighty Father, for those who are hungry. I pray, Almighty Father, for those who are uh, heartbroken. You said you live by believing uh, when you are closer to those who are uh, heartbroken. Now, people have got serious problems. Through you, we can decree and declare that the COVID is gone in the name of Jesus. We pray, Almighty Father, for young people to find jobs. We pray, Almighty Father, for young people to understand their parents. We pray, Almighty Father, for this country. You say, Almighty Father, if we can humble ourselves and come before you, you will heal the land. Heal us, Almighty Father, as you promised. We, we are here, Almighty Father, to show that we love you, we revere you. We are always on your side, Baba. You know that we be Baba Kunukulu uh, with you in this country and all over the world. The world will come to what you want it to be. Eka Menegos, Jesus Christ, Amen. Amen. Thank you so much for the prayer. And siyazo kuthi umthandazo awujiki ungafika ngokumnikazi bese uyalalela bese uyaphendula. We love you. May God bless you. Please continue uh, to subscribe on the David on TV YouTube channel. Share with your friends. Tell them with Bob Makubo, beka se David on and uthandazile wathandazela wonke umuntu umthandazo owethu sonke. And every time you feel down, please Remember this day, remember this episode, and please, please, please help us with the donations so that you can keep the channel alive, any amount that you can afford. Here's the number on the screen. Uh, as you donate, may the good Lord bless you. We love you. May God bless you. Shalom.